Independent on Sunday now with the offer of a lifetime. Less work, same pay. Leo. Yes, so uh, Cambridge Council, South Cambridge or District Council to be precise, uh, are going to trial a four-day working week with no cut to pay. So instead of working five days, you work four days, but you get the same amount of money uh, than what is thought to be a UK first. Uh, So they're going to trial uh, this for three months uh, for 470 office-based workers before potentially rolling it out to bin collectors. Oh, it really makes me wonder, I mean, how will council staff manage to get all their work done in just four days? I've, I've worked for councils, honestly. That, that, that place is it's just a holding pen for the laziest people in society, including me, for a while. You know, but then I found out you can do GB News and just work you know, two hours a day. But, yeah, it's, it's a nonsense. They're, they're telling them, you know, if we see no uh, drop in productivity, uh, you can keep this. So they're obviously going to work quite hard for the three, month, three, three months of the trial. And then once it's over, just go back to being lazy because they'll be on the, the, permanently on the four-day week. However, it's good for work-life balance, isn't it, Jonathan? Um, I think you could, you could argue that. I mean, is there anything written in, in cosmic law about five days being the appropriate amount to work? I don't know. I mean, since I've been working for GB News, I've been doing the four-day month. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> and you look exhausted. Yeah, oh, yeah, I really I look pale. I, the, the makeup lady forgot to do me um, <laughs> and my makeup. Um, oh, uh, uh, no, right. Um, yeah, no, I, uh, what do I think? Look, if it makes people more efficient which it obviously won't, then great. But I don't, know, I don't know if it will. I mean... I think in a different, a different company, a different corporation, organisation, with different ways of measuring productivity, hmm. I think in a council, everybody knows council. Oh, my God. Councils never work. If, if you want an easy life... You know, fair enough, you don't get paid as much as if you're a, a stockbroker or something working for South Cambridgeshire Council, but... You're not going to work as hard. So, yeah, if you want an easy life, go and work for the council. Everybody knows because that. Because you don't have a boss that's worried about the bottom line. Exactly, exactly. And the culture comes from, from the top. And if uh, the culture is just people jostling for political power and position and how much you know, money they can suck out of the taxpayers' trough, then, then they're not going to be worried about how hard you're working. In fact, the, more, the way it worked in the council was the bigger a department got the more important that person was. So, you know, they just want to suck in more people to, to sit at desks and, and appear to be working so they'd be more important, it, they'd get more money. Is that fair? Are they not delivering world-class public services? Well, listen, the frontline people, so bin collectors, people like that, I've got maximum respect for them. They go out enforcement. People like that do, you know, uh, social, social workers do great work. Hey, it takes a lot of planning to paint fire engines. (laughs) Exactly. But but yeah, the people in the office, like developing stuff like policy, I never understood. I worked at Harringay Council. Why do they have a policy department? It's like, surely their policy is going to be the same as Camden or Hackney or whatever. Just share the policy. Yeah, clean the streets. Yeah, Uh, yeah. Stop people stabbing each other. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice. Empty the bins. Who knew? There you go. There's your manifesto. Leave me and Leo in charge. (laughs) 